I'm here with Philip Hoffman from the Fine Art Fund talking about a different sort of um, asset class from what we've been doing most of the last few days. Philip, tell me something about this um, investing in art. Can it be a serious place to invest your money? Uh, if you look at some of the wealthiest families in the world, they've probably made more money out of their art investments than they have about from their bank stocks or their equities or their bonds. It's been a very interesting long-term store of value. It's outstripped inflation. And uh, if you look at the fund's performance, it's pretty impressive compared to some of the other asset classes in the current uh, marketplace. And if you do invest in um, art, um, how can you make a very sensible investment? Well, we, we run funds. So we run about 100 million of, of funds for family offices all over the world. And we run private funds. And we basically hold um, and then trade art. On average, we've traded out every asset we've sold at 31% IRR. And we, we buy art, for instance, we bought a painting for 880,000 and sold it for 2.2 million a year later. And we're doing that week in, week out. We have a team of about 40 experts doing that all over the world for us. So you've managed to sort of securitize a portfolio of tangible assets? Yeah, we treat it as a private equity fund. It's, it's run on a five-year, it's a five-year fund with three possible one-year extensions. We charge a two and 20 fee structure. And uh, we, we invest over the first three years and we divest any time from day one onwards. But we, as we sell after year three, we hand all the money back. So from our first fund, we're handing funds back to our uh, original investors. That's a really interesting concept. So it, it resolves the issues of illiquidity that you might have yeah. investing in Yeah, I mean, you know, we've got some very interesting global investors who are looking to diversify their portfolios. They're worried about inflation. They're worried about uh, real assets. Uh, art's movable as well. It's tax efficient. And um, they're pretty happy. We've got new investors coming in all the time. And it's one of those asset classes that, you know, even this week, uh, you've seen world record prices paid for art when equities and bonds are collapsing. So I was wondering whether the credit crisis has hit the art world. But... Uh, almost to the reverse. I mean, what's happening now is you're seeing negative correlation between the art market and the equity markets. Uh, people are coming, I just came from the Art Basel Fair, and we're putting things that works up for sale at uh, Christie's and Sotheby's this next week. And we'll see world record prices this week, next week. You know, you were seeing Giacometti make 106 million, uh, or 104 million, Picasso making 106 million. World record prices is a time of economic austerity. Uh, what, why is that? The world's rich are putting their money into art, a bit like gold. Uh, and there's limited supply and there's a massively increased demand. You've got the Russians, the Middle East, China, all wanting art. There's only a limited amount of it. So those people who know their way around the market are making a lot of money out of it. Interesting. Um, how can they monitor their investments? If, once so, in, it's a regular fund, it publishes prices? So it's a regular fund. It, pub it publishes results quarterly. It's audited by KPMG. It's valued by Christian Sotheby's. And, um, you know, our results, our results are sent out to all our investors. Excellent. Well, thank you very much for giving us a window into a different type of fund. Um, thank you, Philip Hoffman from the Fine Art Fund. Pleasure.